Hello, in this video, we are going to learn more about tokens in Java. Whenever we learn a new language like English, we learn what are the different parts of speech like noun, verb, adjective, etc. Similarly, when we are learning how to write Java program, we learn about tokens. A token is the smallest element of a program that is meaningful to the compiler. When we submit a Java program to the compiler, the compiler passes the text and extracts individual tokens. Java has five different types of tokens, keywords, identifiers, literals, punctuators, and operators. Let's look at each one of them. We will start with keywords. Keywords are reserved words that have predefined meaning in Java. The words shown are all keywords. If you see, they all are in lowercase. They cannot be used as names for variable, class, method or identifier. Let's now see what is an identifier. Identifiers are tokens that represent names. These names can be assigned to variables, methods and classes to uniquely identify them to the compiler. A Java identifier must have following characteristics. It can consist of uppercase, lowercase, digit, dollar sign and underscore character. It begins with letter, dollar or underscore. It is case sensitive. It cannot be a keyword and it can be of any length. Let's look at some questions that can be asked on this. One of the questions that can be asked is to identify valid invalid identifier. Or you might be given a program and asked to identify errors in it and correct it. Let's answer this. Here hello world is invalid as it uses a space. Hi Java is invalid as it uses a punctuation mark. Short is a keyword. Three value begins with a number. Hash H is also invalid as identifier name can only start with underscore or dollar symbol. Remaining all follow the Java guidelines, so are valid identifiers. Similarly, we will take this program and we will correct the variable name which are incorrect. In the program segment, phone number is invalid as it is using a dot. Super and void are keywords. Hash count is also invalid as identifier name cannot start with hash. Num value cannot have space in between. Now we are going to take a look at next token which is literal. Literals are constant values assigned to variables. Let's look at some type of literals. First are integer literals which are whole numbers without any fractional or decimal parts. You can specify it in decimal, octal or hexadecimal format. Next are floating point literals also called as real literals. These are numbers which have fractional part. They can be written in fractional form where there is decimal between the digits or they can be written in exponent form where there are two parts mantissa and exponent. For example, 15.4 can be written as 0.154 into 10 raised to the power of 2 where mantissa is 0.154 and exponent is 2. Next is boolean literal which has only two values true and false as given in this example over here. Next is character literal which is one single character enclosed in single quotes. It can also be escape sequence which are special type of character literals. They represent special control characters and characters that cannot be printed. They are represented by a backslash followed by a character code. For example, slash t is used to insert a tab, slash n is used to insert a new line, Slash quote is used to insert quotes as that is a special control character, etc. 
Next are string literals. They have multiple characters and are enclosed in double quotes. Like in this example, capital is of string data type and it has been assigned a value of New Delhi. Now let's take a look at punctuators. They are also called as separators and are used to inform the Java compiler of how things are grouped in the code. Most commonly used punctuator in Java is the semicolon. It is used to terminate statements. We are going to show how to use them as we start writing the programs. Last of the tokens are operators. They are symbols that specifies an evaluation to be performed on some data called operands. The operator can be arithmetic, relational, boolean, bitwise, etc. In our following video, we will learn more about operators in detail.